distinguished guests, colleagues, and dear friends joining us from all over the globe. Greetings to one and all. I take great pleasure in welcoming you all to the ninth annual British Comedic Choir Awards for the Arts and Culture 2023. I am very grateful to each one of you who have taken your time to join us in this virtual conference today. It means a lot to us and thank you all so much. The British Comedic Choir BCC Awards for Arts and Culture are black this year to honour individuals and organisations that have made a positive impact on society through their creativity and commitment. The British Comedic Choir BCC Arts and Culture Awards reflect the wealth of great art and culture around us and the people who add more value and bring in a positive change in our society. The awards are designed to recognize artists, scholars, arts organizations and individuals in support of museum heritage sites and cultural entrepreneurs who have excelled through their creativity and commitment. These are individuals and organizations that bring people within our communities together through the art forms and have made a positive contribution to the society. Today, we are delighted to announce our awardee for the BCC Awards for Arts and Culture 2023. I would like to introduce our first awardee for the BCC Awards for Arts and Culture 2023. She is the principal of the RNCM and an internationally renowned clarinet soloist, recording artist and pedagogue. In January 2023, she celebrates 10 years at the hand of the Royal Northern College of Music, Music Conservatoire, RNCM. Joining as a Director of Performance Studies in 2001, she became Vice Principal in 2006 and Acting Principals in 2012. As an innovative and supportive leader, she is a constant inspiration to the students at LCMM and the force behind their strategic vision to define the future of music. But her work and passion for music education isn't just linked to LCM. As Chair of Conservatoire UK CUK, she leads the UK's network of conservatoires, working with them to develop best practice for training and education in performing arts and to promote the sector's excellence nationally and globally. She also became the first music conservatoire principal to be appointed to the board of the Association of British Orchestra, ABO, and was part of an expert panel chosen to devise a new model music curriculum to help school deliver world-class teaching. She was awarded a CBE for service to music in higher education in the King's 2023 New Year Honours. As a Karina soloist, Merrick has released over 40 solo CDs for labels, including NMC, Nuggles, Guild and Mature, and broadcast for BBC Radio 3, Arte TV, CKWR Radio in Canada, and DRS1 Radio in Switzerland. She has performed as a soloist internationally in America, Australia, China, the UAE, and throughout Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Linda Merrick, CBE Principal of the Royal Northern College of Music. I'm delighted to accept a British Carnatic Choir Award for Arts and Culture. I do so in my personal capacity as a performer and educator and on behalf of the institution I'm privileged to lead, the Royal Northern College of Music. The RNCM is one of the world's leading and most progressive conservatoires. Throughout our 50 year history we are proud to have been at the forefront of music education nationally and internationally and we remain dedicated to driving our vision to define the future of music and to shape the music industry of tomorrow. Mirroring my own performing and teaching career, our students today are actively encouraged to create new work that transcends stylistic and cultural barriers. They are also able to develop the entrepreneurial skills to present this in new and engaging ways to a wide range of audiences across performance, community and healthcare settings. Our legacy will be the lasting impact of this event, which will have a part in ensuring this will make to relevant to the lives of future generations.
Our next awardee is a professor of jazz guitar and a voting member of the Grammy Recording Academy. He is a lecturer at the University of Salford in Manchester in the UK and the Music Academy at Gundask in Poland. He has toured extensively around the world as a solo artist and with many other great musicians such as Tommy Emmanuel, Alec Di Miola and Birelli Lagrini to name a few. His album, Aidan Palmer meets Chopin, is a celebration of Polish culture, reflecting back on Christian showed Polish works. His most recent album, Second Life, is a celebration of being alive, drawing from his experience with COVID-19 and being in a coma for 24 days. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Aidan Palmer, Professor at the Music Academy at Gundas and the University of Sofia. Hello and thank you very much for selecting me for the BCC Arts and Culture Awards. Uh, my name is Adam Palmer. I'm a professional guitarist born in Poland, living in the UK for the past 17 years. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with myself, I'm a professor of jazz guitar uh, at the Music Academy in Gdańsk in Poland and a guitar tutor at Salford University in Manchester for almost 15 years. I've toured around the world as a solo artist and with many other great musicians. Um, my album Adam Palma Meets Chopin is a celebration of Polish culture. It's the first ever album uh, with the music of Frederick Chopin played on the acoustic guitar. And my um, most recent album Second Life is a celebration of being alive, drawing from my uh, experience with COVID-19 and being in a coma uh, for 44 days. Um, it's also the first ever album featuring both an acoustic guitar and a string orchestra on each track. Uh, I'm very grateful to be recognized by the BCC for my contribution and um, I'm very flattered that um, I perceive my work as bringing a positive change to society. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to announce our next awardee is Vyapka Basi. He is currently the Chairman and Managing Director of UK-based Navras Records Limited, established in 1992, a prestigious music label specializing in Indian classical and traditional music. The label has a diverse and electric catalogue of largely live concert recordings and composing a variety of genres, including crossover content with jazz and western classical music. He is a recipient of Music for Media Award 2006 on behalf of International Foundation for Fine Arts Mumbai for lifelong dedicated services to Indian classical music. He is the Joint Vice Chair of the University of Surrey Council, the governing body of the university since July 2019 and a lay member of the council since January 2017. He is also a member of the Board of Trustees of Migrant Legal Action London since July 2018. He also served on the Board of Trustees of the Community Foundation for from 2020 to 2023. He has had a distinguished banking career, spending three major money centre banks with assignment in the Middle East, Far East and the UK, and has been a financial consultant and investment advisor to high net worth investors, private bank and boutique investment funds. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vakin Basi, Chairman and Managing Director of UK-based Navas Record Limited. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I feel greatly privileged to have been selected for the prestigious British Carnatic Choir Award for Arts and Culture 2023. 
and I would like to express my sincere thanks to the board of directors of BCC for selecting me. You have put me amidst a galaxy of very accomplished and renowned personalities from the fields of art, culture and public life. In this country and India, in terms of previous awardees, and for that I feel greatly flattered. If you look at my education and career, these were in pursuit of science and the world of finance and investment in which I was absorbed for some four decades. At another event where I was similarly honoured by the International Foundation for Fine Arts in Mumbai, on presenting me the award, the legendary Indian classical musician Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma pointed out that finance and arts do not naturally mix. So I must be grateful for my upbringing that it enabled me to overcome this obstacle. In spite of having grown up and lived virtually all my life outside the country of my birth, India, I was very lucky to be deeply rooted in the culture of my mother country. Both my parents were accomplished practitioners of Indian classical music, and I was exposed to that from my childhood. Years and years later, on returning to the UK in 1985, after a bank career in the Middle East and Far East for 11 years, I got actively involved in attending classical music and dance events in London. And this led to my meeting an individual, Jay Vishwadeva of Summer Arts, who had been curating such events for a number of years. This association led to the founding of Navarus Records, which I co-founded in 1992 with Jay and my elder brother Kirit Bakshi, with a view to publishing archival and fresh content of live concerts. My sole objective then was to preserve some of the finest recorded concerts by the greatest legends of classical and traditional music from the Indian subcontinent in London's most prestigious venues for posterity. This music form is largely improvisational in nature and therefore no concert presentation is ever totally repeated and as such tends to be uniquely composed and performed by the soloist. Concerts performed in front of a live audience can be truly inspirational for the artist and that was what we and the artists wanted to capture and publish. This music tradition has been passed on orally from one generation to the next and its most ancient genre, the Drupal music form, goes back some two and a half thousand years, rooted in the Sanskrit-based scriptures of the Vedas and the Upanishads. Over the centuries, this predominantly spiritual tradition evolved into a more romantic and non-liturgical variety, the Khayal form, owing to the infusion of Iranian Islamic influence, an irony in itself given the attitude of Islam towards music. But as it always happens, the fusing of two cultural influences can often result in a highly enriched outcome. The theoretical context of the original music system remained intact, but the presentation evolved into a more worldly genre. In today's fast-changing world, it is easy to lose the treasured heritage of the past, if not properly preserved and made accessible. This for a heritage and tradition that has an oral mode of transmission down the generations is especially critical. So I felt that one of my life's mission should be to put all my time and effort and monetary resources as an investment towards this daunting and worthy mission. And in what small way one could contribute a few drops to this huge ocean of knowledge and heritage, one should try. That has been my aspiration, purpose, and it is something I could not have taken on by myself without the support of my two partners. This was not planned as a money-making business, as much an aesthetic mission. 
and neither was it attempted in a quest for any recognition or award. It was pure passion. But it is a wonderful feeling for that effort by a trial to be recognised and awarded by your esteemed organisation. I thank you once again for that and stand in great humility in front of the august awardees of the past eight years. My best wishes to BCC for the World Music Conference and your Our next awardee is Lucas Pereira de Aojo Pedrosa from Sao Paulo, Brazil. He is a self-taught music producer, arranger, and multi-instrumentalist from Sao Paulo, Brazil. During his musical career, he has had the opportunity to form four orchestras in underprivileged communities in some city in the state of Sao Paulo, teaching music to children, young people, and adults. In these projects, he developed Easter and Christmas musicals, providing musical direction for choir and orchestra. He has participated in music projects as a guitarist involving renowned musicians and producer in the Sao Paulo and world music scenes such as Samuel Quinto, Johan Anho, Samuel Silver, and Daniel Lee. More recently, he has worked as a guitarist and arranger at the Igreja Baptist Nicol Hernandez, the United Nations Baptist Church, as well as to music teaching. Hello everyone, I'm Lucas Pedrosa. I'm a musician and I'm very grateful and honored to accept this award. Thank you so much to British Carnatic Choir Board for selecting me. Let's make the world a better place, certainly, though not only through music. Many thanks. Bye bye. This brings us to the close of the virtual awards ceremony. On behalf of the patrons and advisors of the British Canada Choir, we extend our heartless congratulations to all the awardees this year. I would like to thank you all for joining us online for the virtual celebrations. We hope you enjoyed the awards ceremony. We hope to see you all next year at the 8th World Music Conference and the BCC Awards for Arts and Culture. Thank you.